so we just had the Federal Reserve meeting right on the, the 1st of November. They decided to continue to hold rates at the same area so they didn't raise, um, you know, and, and uh, what do you call it? Then the next, I think, thing down the line is on the 13th, we have the CPI numbers coming out. And then uh, we have Richard Hart's case coming up at the end of the month. And then uh, we have, I think it's the 13th of December. Let me double check. But I think that's the next Fed meeting. Yeah, that the is. 13th of December then would be the next Fed meeting. So those are kind of like for right now. And then obviously spot Bitcoin ETF for macro crypto. But those things right now seem to be the main things along the horizon. So kind of how, how do you see uh, those things playing out between now and, and New Year's? Pretty, pretty. I mean, pretty much it, whatever ends up happening in terms of the CPI. If the CPI is just flat to down, then we're pretty much guaranteed there's nothing going to happen for the rest of the year when it comes to Fed rates. They're just going to stay up. There's going to be no cutting of rates at all. But like I've said, like I've said, there's starting to be there's starting to be a little bit of a money printing that's happening secretly. Now we did have a trillion dollars go off the balance sheet for the Federal Reserve in terms of just bonds they've been holding for a long time. So yeah. and those those get run off the balance sheet by basically they just don't rebuy back the bonds. So it's kind of like they get paid back their money plus interest. The interest, they, any profits they do make get sent to the treasury. And then that's it. It's gone. So, but when all that money gets paid back, um, it doesn't get rebought back into new bonds or doesn't go into banks. Um, that's actual. That's actually cash being destroyed out of the system. So, um, well, one of the crazy thing is, is kind of since the Federal Reserve can't really print money too much without it getting caught up, especially on the balance sheet. Uh, magically, the FDIC received one hundred and fifty-eight nine billion dollars out of nowhere last month. So hmm. that's. From I wonder from where, you know, well, and those guys remember the meetings they've had at the end of last year, basically right. being like, yeah, you know, some of these banks might be going bankrupt in the, the early part of next year. And then literally in March, right, we had Silicon Valley Bank going under and, and others. Yeah. Like I had Kyle ask me a pretty, pretty interesting question on like, why, like, why does that happen? Like, why do, why did these banks buy these dumb bonds in the first place? And it's mostly, do they think like what he said verbatim was like, did they think that it was going to be zero forever? That's right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was third. It was third. Damn near almost a thirteen-year run. I mean, almost mm. a thirteen. Wait, like 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, thirteen years. Thirteen years, zero percent. It's a long time. Dang. It's a long time. So I so I, I kind of forgive banks if they, especially if they bought like for eight of those years. But as things go, kind of went on. I mean, that also was a. 13 year bull market in stocks as mm -hmm. well. Yep. So I can forgive maybe the first four or five years, you know, being in buying bonds because, you know, rates are still coming down. There's deals and stuff. Yeah. But after that, like, a lot of these banks should have been holding. Like, it, I, I understand because there's a difference between like a bank and then a uh, investment bank. And there's, mm -hmm. it's really hard to be, it's a lot harder to be an investment bank, especially after 2009, eight. But um, a lot of these banks probably should have just been more in like residential. I mean, like I think eventually all the banks kind of figured it out. Like BlackRock's the one that really started setting it off. Like, hey, we should be buying commercial, not commercial real estate, but residential real estate because right. it's gonna there's gonna be a guaranteed user. If these guys end up just all they're working through is Zoom meetings and Streamyard and you know more digital work, where they're gonna where, what's, where's their office at their house? Yeah, right. And they're gonna need to keep paying rent. So you know we want we don't want people to actually own homes. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Well, did it that we work company recently, like I think the guy who started that like started not going bankrupt. But I can't remember. There was something with that. But yeah, they, they, I mean, the, it's the uh, you will own nothing and you'll be happy. You'll eat the bugs, right? Zubugs. And 